<laughs> oh man. Last week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip, we found a perfect camp among the beautiful aspen trees after a long day on the trail through the high elevations of the Colorado backcountry. Well, that was a good run today. The boys found a really nice spot here. Um, we're at 10,000 feet, so it's going to be cold tomorrow morning, but we've kind of positioned ourselves where the sun comes up over there, so hopefully we'll get hit with sun first thing in the morning. So we're just... Uh, Gonna try to level off the Jeeps, probably back that way because everything else is sloping, and uh, have a good night's rest up here in the mountains. had some leftover pulled pork that I had done in the Dutch cast iron oven over the fire at the, at the last place. So we're going to make a simple chili dog. I think I'll try this. We picked it up in the last town. Such a quaint town. Awesome general store, gas station. And they have a cafe that's open. Um, we just missed the season for that. But yeah, we're going to check this out. We enjoyed a peaceful evening in camp as the sun set over the distant mountains and the vibrant autumn leaves danced in the cool breeze and the last golden light of the day.
right guys we are all packed up you can see the convoy is ready to roll and uh, we're gonna head keep going down the BDR we camped last night up here at around 10,000 feet and one thing we've noticed uh, the last week or so we've been at almost 10,000 feet the whole time or higher and man it's, it's the air ever thin up here man you cannot beat the beautiful weather we're having the fall colors the blue skies the mountains in the distance it's just spectacular i hope you're enjoying following along with us on the colorado backcountry discovery route scenery gorgeous uh, wilderness and uh, we've gone through some spots at a rangeland as well just like a childhood dream you know I used to watch Western movies or uh, read Louis L'Amour books about the Wild West and that was like being just implanted right into one of those books so yeah this is a really cool area if you ever get a chance to get up here check it out uh, especially this time of year it's just amazing we haven't seen a soul uh, for hours and just quiet beautiful wilderness ahead As we drive along a paved section of the backcountry discovery route, we stop to take in a breathtaking overlook of the San Juan Mountains. So now we're off the trail onto a paved road that goes into the San Juan Mountains and the views are, as you'd expect, are pretty spectacular. And we can see now why they call it Colorful Colorado because not just the colors of the trees and the plant life but the mountains and the rocks and the, the soil. Extremely colorful, beautiful. So now we're down in the bottom of the valley here and we're heading to Lake City for a bite to eat some other things and then we'll get back on the trail. Alright we just pulled into Lake City here to get some fuel. Fueled up the bikes with premium and the fuel caddy on the back of Andy and then we filled up Andy and Worsley so we're good for fuel we just need some food groceries and a few items. I need some oil uh, for Worsley. It's due for an oil change, but there's nothing up here. So we'll get it at the next big town, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna make sure it's topped up. So that's it. We're ready to get back on the trail soon. All right, we're in luck. We found an uh, auto shop here, that a very small place that had uh, the right kind of oil. The Jeep takes 0W20, and uh, we're, we're down a little bit. Uh, I just wanna go over the next pass without topping up. So we're checking it out, and we'll get it fixed up where he is. Oh, 
All right, we just had lunch at the only place that was open in town in uh, Lake City, but it was very good. Big portions and, um, you know, burgers and stuff like that. It's, we don't eat that way very often, so um, it was kind of a nice little treat. We are now back on the road, heading outside of Lake City, and just up here somewhere we cut off into the mountains. So uh, we're pretty excited about the road ahead. This is the the high elevation stuff and the San Juan area is beautiful and we look forward to exploring it and taking you with us. The scenery all around is stunning, and the mountains ahead give a glimpse of the mountain trails we will soon be climbing. Okay, we are now on the trails. We got thousand foot drop offs, narrow trails, spectacular mountains in all directions. This is the real deal. Very, very cool. A little bit white knuckle driving, but everything on the trail coming up to this point has prepared us for this minute. Wow. Look at that! <laughs> wow! See, this is what we're riding next to the whole time. <laughs> oh man. That's crazy. There's a little river going in there, not enough to save you. It's nuts. That is hard stopping stuff. I know the boys are being extra careful, but man, it always gets my heart going seeing them standing that close to a cliff with the bikes. But yeah, it's uh, this is what it's all about. beginning the ascent up Cinnamon Pass.
top now, or almost to the top of Cinnamon Pass. It's been an amazing pass. It zigzags right from the valley below, basically all the way to the bottom of that and then down even further. But yeah, we're getting close to the top. Right there, I think, is the summit. So we're just going to carry on. We just stopped to put new batteries in our cameras to let Lando get out you know, for a minute, stretch his legs. And uh, now we're going to keep going. But we are way up there, it's uh, 12,000 feet or so right now, and uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll stop and take a picture at the very top. So this is it, the top of Cinnamon Pass. 12,640 feet. Beautiful. Look at all around, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We stopped for a few minutes at the summit of the pass to take in the outstanding view before the drive down the other side of the mountain. down the other side of the pass and it's a um, really nice tight shelf road with a big drop off and I think there's a river down there so we might find a camp spot down below tonight came down the pass into Animus Forks, an old mining ghost town. Silver was discovered here at an elevation of 11,233 feet above sea level back in 1873, and soon a town was built to house and feed the miners. This whole area is just fascinating. All the old remnants of mines from days gone by. Here's an old building that 
looks like it was probably built in the 1800s starting to collapse now but still a pretty big shell there all right so back a little ways there was a option to go to turn left and maybe find a camp spot and turn right and go through a california pass and we chose to go through the pass and um, hopefully it was the right decision because the sun is going down fairly rapidly and uh, we're up in the pass at uh, what is it 12,000 feet so and there's no camp spots that we can find here but hopefully we can get up and over before it gets dark or at least too dark so that's the plan right now knowing that we are in very capable and well-equipped vehicles we feel confident in our decision but as the darkness of night begins to close in around us and the trail gets more narrow and steep, we begin to feel a sense of urgency to keep moving. As we are driving up California Pass, Dan hit some loose gravel with his bike and fell on a sharp corner. What happened? Peter came back down the hill to help him lift his bike and make sure he was okay. Just get to the flat and slow start up. Second, that's in first, that's where I lost power. When you're doing slow starts, better in first. Shoot. I don't like this. It's pretty steep, eh? Yes. California Pass is the tallest pass on the Colorado BDR, and it travels up California Mountain, which is 13,222 feet tall. and scenery from up here at the peaks of these mountains is amazing. We need to carry on up the trail as it's getting dark fast.
was a surreal feeling and almost otherworldly experience to be alone high in the mountains after dark. The mountain peaks in the distance were silhouetted by the last light of day, and it was a moment of calm before the nerve-wracking and challenging night drive we have ahead. Though vehicles of a wide range of capacity for off-roading tackle this trail every day, it is another story when you're driving on a narrow shelf road with no room for air. Ahead of us in the darkness are narrow trails, sheer cliffs, steep ascents, and hairpin switchbacks. We are a long way from help, and our jeeps are fully loaded and heavy. I don't know about you, but this is pretty crazy. Not the best decision we've ever made, but um, we're here now, we're making the best of it. We are crawling shelf roads at night, steep, steep massive drop off to my left but so far we're doing all right and we're just going to keep plugging on until we get to lower elevations and find a place to camp yeah Whew. it's scary with mandy so top heavy and i'm trying not to cry <laughs> nerve-wracking for my parents and I as we watch my brothers on their adventure bikes drive along these narrow trails and steep mountain faces so exposed. Site, it would have been a better decision to camp back at the mine and tackle this pass during the daytime. But these types of experiences challenge us and teach us so much about ourselves that in the end we don't regret a minute of it. Okay, that was um, <laughs> crazy. So we are on the last switchback coming down a very, very steep hill. But we've come down, looks like at least a thousand feet in the last few minutes just switchbacking. And we are near the bottom, so we're quite happy about that. That was a harrowing little drive. I'm sure during the daytime it's scary, but at night it just adds another element of unknown because you got the abyss over the edge of that cliff to our left. And uh, yeah, we feel much relieved now that we're near the bottom. That was probably the craziest thing we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, so that's fairly close. That's the switchbacks we just came down. There's the absolutely crazy ones we did. Wow. Anyway, and then tomorrow we'll get onto the highway. That's you, Ray. Or tomorrow is another day and we can decide what we feel like doing. <laughs> Let's go make some dinner. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Still descending. I'm seeing 10,900 feet. <clears throat> Nice to see the, the 10 on that. <laughs> so right now we're just on the hunt for a, a camp spot. We don't need anything fancy, just a place to park a couple of Jeeps. So just keep moving on. 
there's a small camp just in there. It's okay. good enough. Perfect. It's pretty beauty. It's got a little fire pit. It's tight where the fire pit is, but there's a wide open space just before it. We'll follow you in. Um, follow Dan in. Dan, you lead them. Anywhere there where you're pretty We are all hungry and tired, but we cherish this moment well. together and revel in the adventure we've just experienced and the lessons we've learned. Your knees are bracing the bike and your elbows are holding you like this. It's mainly my shoulder blades. Lower than I if we had camped past, up there. Do you remember coming up there? I was just like, oh no. We're, we're at the very top of yeah, the stinking mountain. When I realized how switchback and scary it was, when we were at Hurricane, that I was at uh, 950. Hurricane and, uh, is at... Uh, Hurricane uh, Pass yeah. was where that lake was. Now we're at like 968. I'm like, that was 18 miles down to like not this far but like when we stopped the first time i was like that was 18 miles from hurricane pass uh -huh. that was crazy 18 miles straight down <laughs> pretty much all right well um we've eaten and uh tents are all set up we're hitting the hitting the hay Everyone's exhausted, so we're not even going to sit around and talk about it. We were planning to come back and unload um, the adventure of the day, but we'll do that tomorrow. For now, uh, you have a good night. We're going to have a good night's sleep, and we will see you for a brand new adventure tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip as we head to Flagstaff, Arizona for Overland Expo West before heading to the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm.